I just remember there was a lot of booze. There was a lot of alcohol. It was a privately chartered uh, 747. Um, it was the end that we were coming home from Europe, uh, or from England, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'll make it quick and painless because, you know, uh, I, I forget quite a bit of it now. <laughs> um, Brock Lesnar wanted to, no, no, Kurt Angle, no, yeah, Kurt Angle wanted to shoot with Vince McMahon. And uh, they were grappling in the aisle. In the plane. In the plane. And then uh, Kurt Henning and Brock Lesnar did the same thing. But they almost accidentally opened up the escape hatch. Mm. And that would have been a huge problem. Uh, a, a good funny one was uh, JBL. Uh, Bradshaw, he had gotten cut above his eye during the pay-per-view. And Michael P.S. Hayes, who was the agent at the time, was pissed drunk. And uh, JBL was sleeping, so he thought it was funny to go over and do one of those and split him wide open. He had a nice suit on, so his whole, you know, he's just pouring blood. So there was another fight. So then after that calmed down, X-Pac waited till Michael Hayes fell asleep, cut off his ponytail, his entire ponytail. And then I'm sitting next to Scott Hall. He's completely passed out. And we land at JFK and he won't even come coherent. I had to drag that big guy in a wheelchair and I'm literally pushing him through customs. How does that look, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, I see JR with the black hat looking at me, passed out Scott Hall, just looking at me like. And I'm like, what are you, I'm just, I, I didn't do a damn <laughs> So that is the longest story short of the craziest ride. Oh, and Nature Boy uh, naked with his robe flashing every flight attendant he could. Is there any regular people on the flight? No, 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 just, no, just, just, yeah, just all wrestlers <laughs> and a ton of booze and a ton of crazy. That's 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 all I got. That's all I got because that's really all the. I just remember the the cliff notes. <laughs> was he mad about his uh, ponytail? Oh my god! He must have been furious. There was a lot of meetings that week. <laughs> So I guess Mr. Perfect ended up getting fired over his scuffle with Brusk, uh, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Are you surprised that Brock didn't get fired? No, Brock was the future. Brock was the future. Kurt was Kurt. He was a mess. Poor Kurt. I loved Kurt. Uh. Thoughts on Michael Hayes uh, still being with the company in good uh, I don't know how he's still with the company. You don't know? I don't know what... Because he had a lot of screw-ups. He, he is a screw-up. I, I don't know how smart he is, but he can't be that smart, jeez. Why do you think they keep him? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I never liked him. He, you know what? One time, me and Jeff Hardy, it was WrestleMania 18. We had nothing to do. It was in Toronto, I believe. And uh, me and Jeff were downstairs eating... And Michael Hayes and his wife were downstairs eating. It was just a, a couple of us, no fans. And Michael Hayes asks Jeff if he can go up and get him some uh, Molly, which is, I don't know what you call Molly. Uh, like a drug? Molly's like... Uh, like ecstasy? Thank you. I, I don't do it. So Jeff goes up and gets it for him. Then Jeff gets called into Vince's office the next day saying, oh, we heard you and PJ were on Molly. He ratted him out. Ratted him out, but it was for him and his wife. And I don't even do the, the damn thing. They accused you? Yeah, I, I, I was fine. I, was, I didn't okay. get in trouble. But still, the balls on that guy, you know? So, anyways. Well, I guess those are your thoughts on him. Yeah. <laughs>